Hey, how's everyone doing today? Taruk81 with another figure review. Today I'm going to be reviewing a very special figure for you guys. This is uh, King Caesar. Marmot King Caesar. This one's brought by uh, or produced by Marmot. But I guess the way it works is I guess they, they commissioned him. They commissioned them. Uh, this is not a Vinyl Wars or a Monster Heaven. This is actually a Globster. Globsters, you see it right there. It's got the Godzilla licensing sticker, 2006. Okay, produced by Mar Manix. Globsters, produced by Marmot. So I honestly don't know where to go with this. I checked it out on Club Tokyo, and there's a couple of these guys made. There you go. No real, no real legal jargon on on this header. You know, it's it's. Real straightforward. And let's get into the figure. So this is King Caesar from Godzilla vs. Mega Godzilla in 1974. Sorry about that, guys. Um, it's a brown vinyl with uh, gold highlights for all the hair, the curls on it. Now, King Caesar is a faux dog. A faux dog, faux dog, whatever you want to call it. They're guardians. Usually you find them in statues, and they come in pairs. I always wondered if they were ever, ever going to do that in the movies, because um, food dogs usually come in pairs. Before this figure, I, I've said it before in another one of my reviews, what I had as a representation for King Caesar was this guy here. Now, this guy used to be all silver. My um, my wife bought it for me in um, uh, Little Tokyo over here. And I ended up painting it, so there's no visible silver on it anymore. But I did use the silver so that I could highlight these different tones, these metallic tones on them. And as you can see, it's very, it's very similar. Faux dogs are all very similar. They got these curls for the hairs, the beards, and everything, the tails. And when you look at that, and you look at King Caesar, he's got all those curls. See that? But now usually, like I said, they come in pairs. One of them will have an orb, and then another one will have another baby faux dog on it. I'm not sure what the significance is. I know that there's some kind of guardians, um, but again, we're not going to get into any kind of historical details. Um, I thought it appropriate for a comparison to bring out a Mega Godzilla. Here you guys go. Mega Godzilla. Now I got this guy from um, Vinyl Kaiju Legion. James Osborne. He commissioned this himself. Did a great job on it. And right now, this is my only um, Mega Godzilla in my collection. This is a Bowmark. You can see that right there, Bowmark. So um, I'm very specific with. Um, with the figures that I get. I'm not a completionist by any means, but I do buy what I like. And um, Marmot is pretty much at the pinnacle of, of my collecting right now. But I'm also getting heavy into like CCP, Giga Brain. And coming back over to King Caesar, he's got uh, gold highlights for the fur, brown and black. When I checked them out on uh, Club Tokyo, it describes them as the brown and black. Uh, version uh, but I guess the, the black must be real light and he's got the highlights right here and the thighs the uh, abdomen area the throat the back of the tail and on his back okay he's got silver for the nails and the teeth and then he also has got blue for the eyes which I think is pretty righteous and yeah this guy stands out he's, he's really nice the paint on him comes out real clear, you know. Again, these guys are uh, stylized figures. Marmot, Shape of Dreams. I love saying that. And um, stands roughly about, I want to say, nine and a half inches. Maybe nine. And for size comparison, for those of you guys that are not familiar with Marmots. We got an SH Monster Arts. Heisei Godzilla. People call him the Rebirth, but um, 
I agree with uh, Ricky, so I don't consider him a rebirth. I just consider him the Heisei Godzilla. Very awesome. Uh, I had a bunch. I pretty much had all of the SH Monster Arts figures. Um, but I don't know. I just... I just ended up selling most of them off and just keeping the ones that I like. Like I said, I'm not a completionist by any means. I just pretty much buy what I like, what captures my eyes. Um, again, I ended up purchasing this guy from Mike Johnson, OG Mike Johnson, on the Godzilla, Godzilla Collectors Group on Facebook, Club Tokyo. Very awesome guy, very awesome, super cool. He gets a lot of stuff that's really hard to find, so I definitely recommend you guys hitting that up. Hitting them up on Facebook if you guys have any specific needs. And yeah, this guy's real cool, man. I mean, you know, I'm going to go ahead and try to get at least one of every kaiju in the Godzilla series. Um, it's pretty ambitious. It's, a lot of these guys are really hard to find or come across. But um, I'm going to go ahead and give it my try, my best. And again, here you go. There you go. And again, these guys always come inside a bag with the header card this is a bag right here keep your staples Ricky so said it best so there you go Globsters King Caesar and Marmot there you go again Mecha Godzilla hopefully you guys enjoy these reviews I'm gonna be bringing more of them as time goes on um, I do have a pretty substantial collection and I'll be sharing it with you guys. Hopefully, it'll it'll help you guys if, if you guys are wondering about buying these figures, getting into this part of the hobby. I know that, like I said, I started off with Bandai, SH Monster Arts, and I just, man, once I got my first Marmot, which was the GMK, man, I just, I fell in love with them. Okay, okay so hopefully you guys enjoy your day. Uh, it's it's uh, Christmas Eve. You guys have fun, enjoy yourselves, enjoy your families, don't get drunk and drive. I mean, get drunk by all means, but don't get drunk and drive. Let me see if I can get this to focus on you guys real quick. Marmot, bam, legal jargon on the other side. So again, real awesome figure. Thank you, Mike Johnson. Remember guys, like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know if there's any particular figures you guys want. If it's in my collection, I'll go ahead and review it. And if not, then I'll go ahead and try to acquire the figure for you. One more time, I'll give you guys one more look at my Bowmark customized figure. Lino Kaiju Legion. Badass. Hit him up. James Osborne, he's got a bunch of nice commissions. Badass commissions. I'm my bad. And tell him Robert sent you. Okay. Once again, you guys, Toruk81, enjoy yourselves, Merry Christmas, and I'll see you guys on the next review. Bye.